Hello everyone, this is Mumbo here, welcome back, and today we're going to be taking a look at something really quite awesome. As you guys know, it has been ages since I've done a video on a conventional 3x3 door, so I thought I'd break up that dry spell by showing you this absolute beaut. This is the 3x3 spiral door, and as always, it's extremely compact, it opens very quickly, and not only that, it's got an amazing opening and closing sequence. I really do think you're going to like this one, so let's take a closer look. Now I'm sure 99% of you know what to expect from this video because the title is fairly self-explanatory, but for those of you who have no idea what you're watching right now, here is the opening sequence. It is looking good, each block is retracted one tick after the other, and it creates a really quite cool effect. It's not one of those rubbish spiral doors that retracts a set of blocks one at a time, nope. This is the full Monty, each singular block is retracted one tick after the other. Same thing goes for the closing, you can see it just wraps around like that, and in my personal opinion, it's one of the coolest looking 3x3 doors. Now if you just head around the side and take a closer look at the redstone behind this thing, you can see that it's actually extremely compact. In fact, it's almost exactly the same dimensions as my tiny 3x3 door, except it is just one block deeper. Now the reason that the dimensions are so similar is because it's actually based on the tiny 3x3 door. In fact, this entire bottom circuit is exactly the same as the original one. We just have this little extra bit added on to do all of the spiral mechanics. Now of course, if you don't want any of that spiral stuff for whatever reason, then I'll put a link to the tiny 3x3 down in the description. But for everyone that wants to build this thing, how about we crack on with that tutorial? So you want to get things started with a 3x7 area, and this section here is going to be the front side of your door. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is creating our double piston extender and block storage. So you want to place your two pistons there, and then your sticky piston off to the side just like that. Then place a block out the back of that sticky piston, another sticky piston down here with a block on its face, and then we're going to start wiring these things up. So you want to create this sort of L shape here with a piece of redstone dust on that block, redstone torch on the side of that block, a block on top of that torch with another redstone torch on the side of that piston there. Then you want to take out this block and replace it with a lever. That's not actually going to be used for anything, it's just for diverting this piece of redstone dust. Then you want to take out that iron block, chuck down a dropper facing upwards with a hopper running back down into it to create a falling edge monostable circuit. Then you want to place a comparator running out into this block next to this piston and chuck any old item into this dropper right here. Next up, next to this piece of redstone dust here, you just want to place a repeater running out the side of that block there, set to 4 ticks, running out into a block, with another repeater set to 2 ticks, that is going to be running into redstone dust, a block up like this, more redstone dust there, another block up like that, redstone dust there, and then you want to place a block down here with a repeater set to 4 ticks, running straight into that sticky piston. Then on top of this block, you just want to chuck down another sticky piston with a block on top. Then you want to place three blocks going right the way across like this. And just to give it a tester to see if the whole bottom circuit is working, just chuck down a lever here, give it a flick, and you should see the double extension and also the double retraction. So that is the main part of your door done. Now you just have to do all the blocks going around it. Okay, so to start things off, you just want to head over to this redstone torch right here and place down a sticky piston. That is going to be the first section of your wall extension then you want to place another sticky piston up here with a block on its face and to wire that one up you just want to go over to this piece of redstone dust place a block up like this a repeater running off in this direction running out into a block with redstone torches going up like that block up like this a block here with redstone dust on top of both of those and a regular piston facing downwards that is going to be updating this piston right here then we're going to be doing the top set of pistons you want to place three blocks going across like this and then three sticky pistons facing downwards there with blocks on all of their faces. Then you are going to create a two by three area just like this with redstone dust going around like that. A repeater there and a repeater set to two ticks running into that piston. And off the side of this redstone here, you just want to place a repeater set to one tick running straight into that redstone. For the final bit now, you just want to head over to this side, the right hand side of your door, and you want to place two blocks on the side of all of these and then two sticky pistons facing inwards there with blocks on their faces once again and now you just want to place a block up like this a diagonal to this sticky piston here a block up like that and a block there with a repeater set to four ticks running straight into that redstone dust with a regular piston facing upwards once again that is going to be updating that piston forcing it to extend now for the final bit you just want to place three blocks going across like this a block up like this and a block running into that piston there Redstone dust on top of both of those, a repeater set to four ticks, a repeater set to four ticks once again, and then a regular repeater right there. 
And that, believe it or not, finishes up all of your redstone. So now you've just got to fill in all of these gaps like this and just cover up all the holes because we don't want to be seeing any of the ugly redstone. And then you are all done. To do your input, you just want to head around the back of the door, chuck down a lever and give it a flick. And you can see we have that lovely sparring mechanics, the full opening and closing working like a charm. Now, one thing that I will say is, of course, that the input being around the back is a little bit frustrating. So you might want to change that. So if you do, all you have to do is you just have to chuck down a redstone torch in this gap right here. And then you want to take out all of these blocks here, place blocks down like this, chuck down two repeaters running into that block and then a block up like this. And then you've got yourself an input on the front with the full spiral mechanics once again working like a charm. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I've got time for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mambo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.